Hey guys, Hoops here with a video on the best AP junglers. Mages and jungling rarely go hand in hand for a couple of reasons. Firstly, they tend to be too fragile, so suffer at the hands of both monsters and enemy junglers alike. And secondly, their primary damage often stems from spells, which means they can fall on the bad side of cooldown and mana issues. However, the champions I'll be mentioning in this video are all exceptions to those two rules. If you're the type of player who enjoys playing high magic damage burst champions, but also wants to dabble in the old jingle jangle, then this list should help you decide where to start. If you want more detailed looks at the champions, then I've got gameplays of pretty much everyone on this list, so just search up my channel and see them in action. This is a video being made in partnership with ProGuides, who by the way have released quite a nifty new service called Genius. What they've done is they've banded together a bunch of high elo players to be at your disposal. So if you ever have a question you want to ask a high elo player, you can do that 24 hours a day. Not bad, eh? This video won't feature the champions in any specific order, so the first mentioned is not necessarily better or worse than that mentioned last. We also won't be looking at the junglers who deal magic damage but aren't true mages, such as Sejuani and Zac. So getting on with things, our first strong mage jungler is going to be Fizz. Thanks to constant on-hit damage with his W, his auto attacks are empowered enough to allow him to clear the jungle with no major issues. It also boosts his dueling against other junglers, which can be a real struggle for more conventional mages, as they would have to play around cooldowns. Fizz also has two gap closers and a decent gank improving and 1v1ing ultimate, and also fairly strong bursts the later the game goes on. His passive also means he takes less damage from the jungle monsters. Overall, Fizz is a strong skirmishing mage whose only real weaknesses are in the very early game. If you want to play Fizz yourself, take attack speed reds, armor yellows, AP blues, and AP quints. Go 12, 18, 0 with Thunderlords, get W, Q, and E at level 1, 2, and 3, and then max either your W or your E first, and getting your Q last. Get that red smite with the runic echoes enchantment. Lichbane is also good for boosting your overall DPS, and Zonyas serves as a way for you to buy some time so you don't instantly die when you jump in. But of course, any AP item works well on Fizz. Next up we have Diana. As far as pure mages go, I'd argue Diana is actually one of the best around. Her clear speeds are phenomenal thanks almost entirely to her passive, which gives her a magic damage cleave every third hit. Because she also packs a shield into her kit, you'll find yourself not having to worry about jungle monsters at all, even in your first clear. Pre-level 6 she can struggle to have any impact on the game because enemies can simply walk away from her. However, after level 6 she not only unlocks a very reliable gap closer but also obtains some next level burst. Tagging some with your Q, getting a double pop on your ultimate and then activating the damage from both your W and your passive is pretty much a death sentence for anyone not wielding a hex drinker. And even if you don't manage to kill the target flat out, you've got the best form of sustained damage any mage could ask for in your passive, so you can make do no problemo. For runes, go attack speed reds, armor yellows, AP blues, and AP quints with 12, 18, 0, and Thunderlords. Get to W, Q, E, levels 1, 2, and 3, and then max your Q, followed by your W, and then your E. Any of the Smite items work for Diana, so it's kind of up to you which one you go for, just make sure to pick up Runic Echoes and Nash's Tooth as your core items, with Zonia's being a very frequent pickup thanks to the way it allows you to jump in without instantly blowing up. I've seen some people have success with the new Proto Belt too, but I haven't tested it enough by myself to really say anything about it, but of course any AP item will do on her. Third is a pretty obvious selection in Nidalee. Now Nidalee was arguably the best jungler around alongside Kindred for a very, very long time. In fact, I still see her putting bands every now and then in High Diamond 1 Masters ELO. She has great early game pressure, crazy good clear speeds, and can deal massive damage to people who aren't tanky. Because of her dual form, one of which not requiring any mana, Nidalee also boasts an almost permanent uptime in efficiency. There's never really a point when Nidalee isn't very strong and can't bully the crap out of the enemy team. The only thing you gotta get down on her is her first clear, as that can be a little bit tricky, but just google some recent videos of it and you'll get the idea. For your runes, take attack damage as your reds with armor yellows and AP blues and AP quints, either 12 18 0 with Thunderlords or 12 0 18 with Strength of the Ages, both of those are good options on her. Get W, Q, E, levels 1, 2 and 3, maxing Q, E and then W. Any smile and works, again making sure to have runic echoes as your core, outside of that it's really up to you what you buy. If you want to play it safe, go Rod of Ages or Rylays and then go into full AP. 
Fourth, it's one of my personal favourites, it's Grenade Amumu. If you haven't seen my video on him already, then I definitely recommend that you do so. It's not really a conventional way to be playing Amumu, but it sure as hell is fun. And honestly, it's pretty damn good too. I might even go so far as to say it's a higher impact way to play him, though not so sure if it's strictly better or not. I like to call this build a Grenade Amumu build, and why is that? Because he jumps in, blows everyone up around him, and often times including himself. The reason it works so well is because Amumu has pretty spammable abilities with underrated AP scalings. This works great against players and monsters alike. The damage reduction on his E also helps him to stay healthy. He's also a very, very good at teamfighting because of that solo queue wrecking ultimate, which, if placed well, will win a teamfight by itself, hands down. Even more so if you're playing Grenade Amumu, as you'll not only trap a bunch of people with your snare, but you'll also do a crap ton of damage to them as well. For your reds, take either Attack Speed or Magic Pen, Army Yellows, AP Blues, and AP Quints. 12 18 0 with Thunderlords or 12 0 18 with Strength of the Ages are the masteries that you'll want to go. Get W, E, Q, levels 1, 2, and 3, maxing your E, followed by your Q, and then your W last. I usually find myself taking blue smite on Grenade Amumu, but you can go green if you want the extra vision, though I wouldn't really recommend the red smite on him as it's not really necessary. Runic Echoes goes without saying, but then you'll want to go for Proto Belt or Riley's into other AP items. If you want to be less likely to blow up immediately, then Zonia's is a good choice. Abyssal is solid versus heavy AP, and Leandri's has good synergy with your W if you've also got a Riley's. But of course, item builds are always situational, and anything that packs a magical punch is a good choice on a Mumu. Before we get into our penultimate mage jungler, I just want to thank you all for watching so far. If you're new here, go ahead and sub, because I'd love to see you around more, and if you do enjoy this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. Not because I have a shallow ego, which, well, shut up, but because it also allows me to see at a glance how you guys are enjoying these videos. Feel free to leave your suggestions or questions down below in the comments. But anyway, let's move straight on to Fiddlesticks. The great thing about Fiddle is that he's so unique as a champion, he's never truly meta, but also never truly out of meta either. He's one of those champions that is absolutely ideal to one trick in solo queue because he's always solid but rarely contested. Also, like Amumu, he has the ability to win teamfights totally by himself just with the positioning and placements of his ultimates. On top of this, Fiddle doesn't need to worry about ever getting low on health while clearing. Having your primary source of damage also heal you for ridiculous amounts will certainly help on that front. He also packs a bunch of utility, which thanks to the new Mage update, is easy to take advantage of as you'll be finding yourself with a whole bunch of CDR, even if you didn't try to get it. The most important aspect of playing Fiddle though is having good vision control. Get a sweeper early, always a pink if you're looking to make a big play, and prioritize smiting that chicken buff. You want to play around not being seen in order to get good ultimates off, so anything to help stomp wards is highly useful. For reds go magic pen, your yellows actually don't need to be armor, surprisingly enough for a jungler, as well, you'll be healing up any damage you take from the jungle itself, so you can go health per level if you aren't against an aggressive early game physical damage dealing jungler like Kindred or Lee Sin. For your blues and quints, of course, just go AP. For masteries, you actually have a lot of options on Fiddle. I've seen Deathfire Touch, I've seen Strength of the Ages, Storm Raiders Surge, and Thunderlords, all of them being picked up on him. I think it's somewhat up to you what masteries you choose, so you can never go wrong with Thunderlords if you want more damage, or Strength if you're just a little bit scared or inexperienced on it. For your skill order, take WEQ levels 1, 2, and 3, and then max WQE. Blue Smite with Runic Echoes is best in my opinion, with Zonia's being a pretty core cool item. Outside of that, it's pretty much situational as long as it gives you AP. Our last mage jungler is going to be Elise. Elise can be played as a meta tank, but specifically here I'm talking about a heavy AP Elise. Similar to Nidalee, Elise is someone who is actually a really solid and top pick jungler. Right now I'd argue she is definitely in the top 5. And again, similar to Nidalee, she has dual forms that enable her to clear well while also maintaining a high efficiency. She's packing a ranged hard CC, a gap closer, high burst, and decent sustained damage, which also make her a very threatening gank and dual candidate. While playing her full AP, she's also a highly effective assassin, being able to pretty much one combo an enemy squishy, or having them haplessly staring at you from within your cocoon stun. 
Due to not having any real team fight prowess, though she can fall off as the game goes on, but she still serves that assassin role like I just mentioned. For runes to take either attack speed or magic pen reds, army yellows and AP blues and AP quints. Go 12, 18, 0 with Thunderlord's decree, bless you shad, or 12, 0, 18 with strength of the ages. Blue smite plus runic is her best combo in my opinion, transitioning into some hybrid tank DPS items to maintain her mid game pressure while still having a lot of damage. Riley's, Abyssal, Proto Belt, Zonia's, they're all good choices on her, but again, if it makes your spell stronger, it'll make your release stronger too. And that's the end of this video guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, just as a side note, if you'd rather run CDR instead of AP in your blue runes, then that's more or less totally fine as well. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video guys, if you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to me for more educational league content with a bit of entertaining stuff on the side as well. You can find me on Facebook, on Twitter, catch me streaming over at twitch.tv slash foxshop, all those links are down below in the description of the video. But to my most importantly guys, thank you so much for watching, have a great day, and I will see you in my next video.